Welcome to Reef and Pond Wise, where we talk all about reef and pond related stuff. So if you love reef keeping and pond keeping like I do, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss anything. We are going to be feeding the koi their favorite treats. Now guys, if you're following us, you know that we like to treat our koi a couple of times a week to various kinds of fruits and vegetables and also some fish like shrimp, uh, crawfish, uh, things of that nature. So, But they have a true favorite and these guys go absolutely crazy for it. And I'm going to show you in just a second what it is and what they will do for it. So I'm going to start off by uh, standing over here to see if we can get the fish to come over and they'll be swimming you know from underneath the bridge there uh, over here because they hear me out here talking and in just a second I'm going to go ahead and throw in a couple of pieces so you guys can see what I'm talking about so let me come over here real quick and grab what I mean I'm just going to throw a couple little pieces and watch the reaction uh, from just these couple little pieces what happens with these koi absolutely insane how quickly and how crazy they go for this food now I like feeding this as a treat when it gets real hot like this it's been uh, in the 90s for the last four or five days straight here in the Midwest and what happens is they need protein when the weather gets real hot and the reason why is because the water it, oxygen is getting used up by the fish and as the oxygen gets used up uh, the fish slow down a little bit so the protein helps with the growth during the time when things get a little bit uh, toasty outside so uh, they're all coming over here I'm going to show you guys what this is if you're not feeding your koi this you might want to consider it it's uh, it's not even koi food it is a mealworm thyme insect medley plus that's made by uh, nature's peck and as you can see uh, 50 percent protein 18 percent fat and eight percent fiber so um, it's a mixture of all kinds of different mealworms and crickets and bugs and beetles and i'll just grab a handful like this now watch what these guys do guys it's crazy they see it they've already tasted it now they're going to go and do a bunch of flips. They're going to fight for this stuff. And this is just a great source of protein on these hot days. But they absolutely love these bugs. And I can't explain it. It's not even koi food. Um, I think at one point years ago, I was feeding some birds and dropped a little bit on the edge of the pond. And they just came and grabbed it. And uh, then I did some research about whether it would be healthy for the koi. And based on the protein content, it is actually really good for the koi. And so, like I say, this time of the year, you want to go ahead and avoid the carbohydrates in the food. And buy foods that are low in phosphate and nitrates. And go ahead and spice up things with a little bit more protein in their diet during these hotter months. So you can see how they devoured that. It is completely, it is completely gone, and that was a whole fistful of food. So, uh, guys, I just wanted to show you real quick that the koi enjoy all kinds of different treats. This is one of their favorites, and remember, anyone can go ahead and build a pond, but it takes someone special to keep one, and that someone special is you.